don't break down or don't have problems. Problems suck. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we had a one heck of a week traveling across the United States. You can see our beautiful rig parked behind me, and we are in Mesquite, Texas at Smiley's Racing Products, so that tells you we made it, but I have to share with you, there was some hoops to jump through and some chaos that was had to get here in time. So we need to rewind a couple of days to Tuesday, March 19th in the afternoon. Now, you have to remember, we were planning on leaving like the 17th, then that got changed to the 18th, and then it was like the 19th in the morning, and then it was afternoon, and then it was nighttime. So we were running out of daylight uh, to hit the road to try to make it to our first race. But finally, we got things rolling. It was time to step on the gas. So we're going to head back March 19th, Tuesday, getting ready to head to Texas for our first sprint car race of 2024. Dad is just filling up the rig here before we hit the road for our 2,000 plus mile journey across the United States. We are familiar with this trek, multiple states, California, Arizona, New Mexico, and then into the great state of Texas where we will be competing with the World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series just outside of Dallas. And to kick off our 2024 season, so excited to get our car on track. I love the look of it. I think we have a great team. Um, we want to get our cars rolling and just, you know, kind of start getting in our rhythm for this uh, big season of racing over 70 shows for the 18t across the whole entire united states and mainly in the 410. It is 10.23 p.m. Tuesday, March 19th. We're officially on the road for Texas. So we finally got on the interstate, and when we did, I tried to stay up as long as I could with my dad. I even told him, like, hey, maybe we stop and rest for a little bit, but he's insane. He was planning on driving through the night, and I wasn't gonna be able to stop him, even with myself falling asleep. But we got rolling, and we ended up having to make our first pit stop about five and a half hours down the road in Sacramento, because we had to pick up all of our spare top wings to put up stairs in the race trailer. We were super lucky that our friends at Sellers Race Wings met us at this time and you know we were able to get those in the trailer and then keep on going. Yeah, we're not there. So we got our top wings for the trip. Now we are back on the road. My dad's literally insane. We're gonna keep going. He said that he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon because California has the worst traffic and the best time to drive is right now, which is 4.42 a.m. He's now probably been up for about 24 hours. So we got that all taken care of and now we're driving into the early morning hours. Now, once the daylight hit, that's when the problems also hit us. Shoot, we didn't make it out of California and we don't have a problem yet. But you know when you catch something before it's a major issue and it's more of a minor issue? That's the situation we might be in right now. The, the RV Why? right there. Okay. Right, camera it to us. Right, yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to turn around. I guess I could back up, pull in here, go back that way to Walmart. Yeah, let's do that. The bottom drawer in there has the gun and the bar. And uh, you need to get the battery on the charger for the gun and the bar, the, the socket. I'm gonna need some tools, Tanner. Yeah, what do you need? You gotta get to the mule. Okay. Hey, crash a wrench. Okay, so somewhere is a box, about this big box, with bearings and the cap. And, so you're just gonna replace it? Well, I'm gonna probably have to. There's a mallet. Here. Uh, no, I'll grab I'll take it out there. Guys. Don't break down or don't have problems. Problems suck. Okay. You gotta love what you guys do, man. You gotta love it. You gotta love it to do it. I promise you that.
This is an example of a good catch. Making sure everything with your race trailer is proper. This is just as important as the race car because you gotta get there first to have a shot. But luckily, when we were at the Loves right down the street, touched them all, we found one that was way hotter, like burning your hand hot. And that uh, that basically was... How you touch the... That's why I don't run covers on there because you can't catch them. So if you touch right here when we were stopped, you touch this one, touch that one, they were normal, not, not warm. You could put your hand on it. When we touch that one over there, straight up like burns your hand. Like if you had your hand on there for five seconds, it would burn your hand. And so like I said, that was a pretty easy signal that there was an issue. Obviously you could keep driving down the road, but I don't think you'd make it very far. So we uh, stopped and take care of it. And that's, that's part of it. You're gonna have problems. That's why it's important. You try to do as much maintenance as you can and then also check on things and catch it before uh, before it turns into a, a bigger issue. Yeah, that's why I put a new one on. That one's still good, but I didn't want to mess with it. So what happened here was the brake was dragging or was hung up on this corner and that's why it was so hot. So we just pulled the brake off and actually just said heck with it and put our spare hub on, put a new wheel bearing on, even though we think both of those were good, but we just did that for precautionary measures so we could get back going. good they're all feel about the same after a long 24 hours we have made it to our first stop here in Flagstaff Arizona we're at the Twin Arrows Casino and Resort we always like to stop and park here for the night on our way to Tulsa in January super nice big parking lot you know there's RVs campers semi trucks and then you know a lot of cars people probably staying here in the hotel or they're just inside trying to make some money and I can't really blame them if I was 21 I'd probably head inside and try to have a little bit of fun you just never really know but luckily today went a little better than it could have of of course we you know got a late start to this whole thing we were hoping to leave just a little earlier in the week so a lot less time to travel to our destination of Texas and then we ran into a problem today going through Barstow thankfully that did not sideline us it just took a couple hours to get it properly fixed and then we got back on the road and about 30 45 minutes later we stopped to double check our work and that was huge because you can think like oh we fix the problem and then start driving again and if maybe it was not the right fix all of a sudden and, you know your your same issue came back and and now you have a tire falling off or you have a small fire or whatever the case may be but our rigs in one piece we're parked for the night now tomorrow we're about 15 ish hours from our destination from here so the chances of us making it tomorrow are probably slim we're gonna get back on the road though in the morning after sleeping tonight my dad is gonna get some much needed rest and the rest of our crew and we're just gonna try to make as much progress as we can super excited though because we're very close to our our first race day in the sprint car of the season it's starting to feel like it's here we just have a little bit of travel left so the next morning we got up and moving made a quick snack for the team stopped to get some fuel and made it into our next state so we're now in the state of New Mexico been rolling through for a couple of hours and now we're just outside of Albuquerque I feel like it kind of turned into a joke here on the channel <laughs> one time we stopped in Albuquerque like downtown at a loves let's just say that was not a wise choice so now every time time we roll through here we make sure to stop at this gas station or there's a couple kind of before you get into the downtown area we got beautiful weather today blue sky sun is shining and I think that trend is going to continue um, into Texas this weekend which is a nice change of pace from the cold Pacific Northwest we've been in all winter Texas, 
when you start seeing signs for the free 72 ounce steak. Had to make a classic stop here in Amarillo. We're not staying here tonight. In previous years on our way to Chili Bowl, we would stop here and this would be kind of like your last check mark until you get into Oklahoma. But after we eat, we need to get back on the road, but we're gonna head inside. Look at this storm that might be rolling in. It's starting to get windy. You can see that don't look too good. But this place is super neat, really, really good food, awesome steaks, and what's nice is it's literally right off the freeway. You can see it driving by, and if you have an extremely long rig like us, RV, whatever it is, they have plenty of parking. So you can roll in, quickly eat, get back on the road, and start logging miles. What do you think of that, no? You're out. So the best part of everything, we left at basically the last minute we could. We even kind of semi broke down there, kept going, actually got back to being, you know, more on schedule, stopped and ate at the Big Texan. Then we got here, it was race day, and our first show rained out. And sometimes that is just uh, how it goes. But the best part is we made it here. Our season has started. We got a lot of races ahead of us. We have a beautiful looking car. We got some great partners that are helping and we have an awesome awesome community and I got great fans that stand behind what we do and are a part of our journey. So let's bring on the 2024 season. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you being here for the good, the bad, and the ugly and I look forward to more to come uh, over the next nine months as we go through 2024. See you in the next one. Deuces.